Sprouts. <laughs> it's me, your favorite human sketch pad, Onion. And today, I was going to record Barbie. I was gonna make that. And then I didn't. Tee hee tee hee ha 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 ha. I didn't do that. So that's why the setup looks so different because I was just working out kinks with Barbie and didn't, uh, nope, mm -mm, no, not gonna work this week. So you're gonna have to wait another week. I know I've been teasing it forever, but it's just not perfect and I want it to be perfect. I wanted to succinctly say what I want to say. Sorry if you can hear the air conditioning in the background, but it's hot, as you know. It's very hot. So I wanted to make an easy video for myself today because this past few days have been very hectic for me. So I wanted to go ahead and make a video about my tattoos. I know it doesn't look like I have many tattoos. If you've seen any of my styling videos, you've probably seen my leg tattoos. I have mostly leg tattoos, not in the arm tattoo. And I have my back spine done. And we're gonna talk about this. Okay, disclaimer, I'm not gonna mention anybody, any person that I've gotten my tattoos from. I'll say like how old they are, when I got them, like where I got them. But I'm not gonna say the artist, I'm just not. So I could be like transparent. I'm gonna try to include the price if I remember. Most of them I do, but I don't know. I haven't been over them in a long time. So I will do that if I can. You'll get all the information I remember. Just not the artist. And I have a little flaky and there it goes. But you was looking at that the whole time. See, and I have my, I have it front facing today. So it's a little strange for me because usually I don't have it. I usually have it back facing so I don't get distracted by my face. So if you see me get distracted, that's because I can look at my face and see what I'm doing and see how weird I'm being. Let's get up close and personal like we already are and Talk about some tattoos. Let's talk about some tattoos. I'm gonna back you up just a little bit because you're like in my personal space. <laughs> okay, so let's do that. That's much better. Ta-da! Now we're in our normal setup. Woo! Back to normal, back to normal. And I have this for my mic. It's just my laundry hamper. <laughs> Let's talk about some tattoos, shall we? My first ever tattoo is this guy. This is script on my arm. It says, breathe in knowing we are truly blessed. I got this tattoo when I was 18 years old. Okay, so we gotta go into the backstory, right? Backstory is, I've always wanted tattoos since I was 12 years old. Yes, since I was 12 years old. I told my mom, actually, was it 12 or 10? Somewhere around there. I was like, mom, I'm gonna get tattoos when I get older. And then she was like, really? And I was like, yes, I'm gonna get tattoos. I just want you to know. So she had about six to eight years to prepare herself for her daughter being tattooed. And thankfully she did. Shouts out to my mom, the best mom on planet earth. Even though she drives me crazy, but I love you. Everybody who I love drives me crazy. That's just how it works. She came around and on my 18th birthday, I got this bad boy. I know I'm ashy. Like I said, I wasn't planning on being this setup, okay? Don't be angry at me. I got this guy. It is lyrics to a song and I know you're probably gonna be like, what band is that song lyric from? No, no, it's not from a band. No, you're wrong, you're wrong. It's not from a band. It is from a children's choir song. Because I was in a children's choir for seven years of my life. I started my children's choir when I was 10 years old. I auditioned and I got in the first try. That's the touring part choir that I got into that I always talk about. And it really impacted and changed my life. So after I graduated, because you can't have, you couldn't have tattoos in the, in the choir because it was a children's choir. And plus my birthday's during the summer, so didn't have to care about that. When I graduated from high school and I sung at Carnegie Hall, and this was one of the songs that we sung. It's called Circles of Motion, and if I can, if I can, I'll put up, I, I can't believe, I can't remember if it's David Bruder. Somebody, I'll put it on the screen if I can remember, it. and that is my cat, y'all know the wiggle. That's my cat, Marble. That's where I got this lyric from. Actually, the song, the song set that we did for that concert, I have it recorded, I have like a whole like CD 
of it and also like a DVD of it so you can actually like see my face and I'm like singing along with all my all my friends and we did this in New York of course at Carnegie Hall in Times Square my graduating year and this song was actually my least favorite song that we saw <laughs> but I really liked this moment of the song and I really liked like the 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 triad that we built on this moment of the song and the lyrics of the song the lyrics of this line were really like oh to me you know so it says breathe in knowing we are truly blessed all the way around all the way around my arm i'll insert pictures or video of me showing you guys but it says breathe in knowing we are truly blessed and yeah it meant a lot to me to like, at, like while I was standing on the Carnegie stage, like every time we would sing that part, I was like, yeah, breathe in, knowing we are truly blessed. And it's a good reminder to me to be like, you are a very blessed person to remember that. <laughs> you need to remember that, girl, because you be acting crazy. You be acting wild. So breathe in, knowing we are truly blessed. This is the one that people usually see a lot. Uh, one, it's so low on my arm. It's like very visible whenever I'm wearing like tank tops or like short sleeve shirts or anything. Also, this is the one that like everyone touches. Everyone grabs this one like when they're trying to get me they like grab this one. Somehow they don't ever grab this one. They grab this one. And also, this is the one that usually people are like, do be grabbing people like that i don't understand it like don't touch me like do i have to bonk you don't touch me bro like everybody's like what does it say what does it say what does it say what does it say so i vowed to myself that i'll never get script again on my body <laughs> never ever again because y'all annoying but it says breathe in knowing we are truly blessed and the rest of the lyrics are because we were born in a circle of motion circle of motion yeah that was a good part of my life okay moving on to my second tattoo it is actually my back tattoo not the full thing i got it in parts so the crescent moon in my back tattoo that was my second tattoo i'll put a picture up up here the second tattoo was the marble this is the culprit this is the person who makes the camera wiggle wiggle every time every time i'm filming she wants to make the camera wiggle why do you do this marble my second tattoo is my crescent moon tattoo on my back i'm pretty sure i think so yeah and i got that me and my friends <laughs> In college, we drove down to Destin, Destin, Florida. My college got to state championship in the football. We wasn't there for no football. We didn't care about no football. We didn't care about no football. We just wanted an excuse to like drive and have a road trip as girlies. So we went on a road trip and we drove all day from like 4 a.m. to like 2 or something like that. Something crazy. And we drove my car. At the end of it, I was like, I want a new tattoo. It's close to Christmas. It was like December. So I was like, I'm going to call my mom and ask her for some money for my first tattoo. And thankfully, she said yes. She was like, this is going to be your Christmas present. Don't ask for nothing else. And I was like, you got it, dude. So that one, I remember it being $150, if not, if I remember correctly. It's on my back. It's been touched up a little bit because of the other two tattoos that are aligned with it. My tattoo artist who did the rest of them touched up on the moon. But yeah, I saw a Pinterest picture of this crescent moon with like flowers in it. And I was like, I really like that. I want that. And then the guy was like, no, you can't have that. And I was like, okay, but I want the moon. I want a moon. And he was like, okay, I could put some squigglies in there. And I was like, okay, fine then. So he put some squigglies in there and I was like, okay, cool. Great. I love it. Boom. So that was on my back. Well, it still is on my back. It's kind of permanent. So yeah, that was my back tattoo. And what is next? Oh God. I think this one's next. <laughs> I think this one's next. Yeah, so my next one is my rose and dagger tattoo. My rose and dagger tattoo. I got this while I was still working at Disney. I was like with my friends again. I love going to get tattoos with my friends. Like I am like the person that is like, oh, you've never had a tattoo? Come with me and see how I do it. And then maybe you'll want a tattoo. I have literally, both of my best friends have tattoos because of me, because they came to my tattoo 
tattoo apartment but that's another tattoo we'll get to that this one i went out with my friends and we were just having a good old time i just recently got kicked out of my house at disney housing i got kicked out yeah and i was like i need a tattoo <laughs> And so, I got this Rose and Dogger tattoo on my thigh, and I love it, because I was like, betrayal, backstabbers, you know? But, and I also wanted like a Rose and Dagger tattoo. It was different, but the guy who did it wasn't a princess, I'm pretty sure, so he was like, let me do it like this, and I was like, just slap it on me, I don't really care, I just want it on my body, I want to feel it, I want to feel it, I want the art forever. So, I got that done, and yeah, my friend got her belly button pierced, and and we were like hotties. <laughs> we were like baddies. So while I worked at Disney, I was only getting tattoos that were hidden. I still kind of only get tattoos that are like hidden. That's why I have so many on my legs and not a lot on my arms. I just recently got these ones on my arms, but we'll get to them. But that's why a lot of them are on my legs, because Disney. So my next tattoo... This is where it gets a little hazy. Oh, this one? I really don't remember what the price was of this one. I I don't remember. I'm so sorry. It was like in the $100 range. Something like that. I don't remember. The next one, I'm pretty sure it's my Phoenix tattoo. This was my biggest tattoo to date. Not to this date, but to that date. <laughs> it was a three hour long session. I got it for my 21st birthday, I believe. And I got it done and I posted it on Facebook. And my brother was like, why are you putting your butt on this? I was like, bro, it's not even my butt, but that's how brothers are. So I got this because my other brothers, they have eagle tattoos for my grandpa, my mom's dad. He passed away when I was young. He passed away in 2004, I'm pretty sure. So I was about six years old. But yeah, he passed away and my brothers were like, oh yeah, like if you're gonna get tattoos, like we should all get like a tattoo for grandpa. And I was like, okay, I'll get a tattoo for grandpa. But I'm not getting an eagle. I don't like eagles. I don't like how they look. Just that's my, my tattoo taste. So I was like, okay, I'll get a tattoo for grandpa, but it's not gonna be an eagle. So I got a phoenix. Instead, I like mythical creatures, I like the concept, plus my name, Anastasia, means resurrection, so I feel like it correlated really good with the phoenix of rising from the ashes over again. I know now that it's like a, a somebody dealing with like anger issues or something like that. I, I got it because I like phoenixes, phoenixes and I my name means resurrection, okay? I'm, I think I can have it, you know? <laughs> So, <laughs> I got the phoenix for all those reasons, including my grandpa. My next tattoo. Oh, like I said, this gets a little difficult. They all get a little blurry. I think my next tattoo is my dog all the way on my ankle. So my dog on my ankle. I got that when I went over to London. And I always wanted to do a thing of like, okay, I'm getting these tattoos for like when I go travel to different places. When I went to London for a study abroad trip for 10 days or something like that. We went to Cornwall and I loved it and we had free time and I was like, this tattoo shop is open. I'm walking, I'm going to the tattoo shop. I'm getting me a 40 pound tattoo and I'm, I'm gonna do it. And so I got the tattoo, I got my little doggy and we of course we're doing like a Shakespearean like whole endeavor and there's a Shakespeare quote. I can't exactly remember it right now but hopefully I'll put it on the screen if I refind it. It is, I'd rather hear a dog bark than a man profess his love for me. Can't remember what show it's from. Can't remember where, that's where it was. But <laughs> that's why I got it. I was like, I was in my like, nobody want me so I don't want nobody. That was the phase I was in in my life. I was just like, nope, nope, don't want it. Don't need it. 
can't want it, can't need it, goodbye human interaction. <laughs> so I got that and I had to walk on it for like the next three days and that's why it looks all murky. Like one of my other tattoo artists tried to say that it was because it was on this part of my body, which I understand, but no, it's because I didn't take proper care of it after I got it done because I didn't have what I would usually have to take care of my tattoos because I was on a study abroad trip. I had to be, I had to go, I had to be going, you know, you know how tours are and stuff like that. You gotta, you, got, you can't be sitting around too long. You can't be just like nursing your foot that you just got stabbed into. You have to be moving. So I had to be moving and that's why it looks like that all messed up because it was in some sneakers, lots of sneakers. So <laughs> my next tattoo that I'm pretty sure I got, I'm pretty sure the next one is my skull rose tattoo. I'm pretty sure. I think that's the next one. I'm gonna say that's the next one. I got my skull rose tattoo. This was my first time going to this artist. Like I just got the itch again and I saw this little Pinterest drawing of like a skull with like a rose on the top like embedded in it like it was all one picture and I was like oh that's nice I like that. I want like that. I want that on my body. And then so I go to this tattoo artist that was close to my school at the time. And me and me and my best friend Amani, we go to this tattoo artist. And I'm like, so I want this. And he's like, okay, can I change it? And I'm like, of course, please do change it. I don't want exactly that. I want it different. I want it to be my own cherished within my body and encapsulated forever. And so he's like, okay, great. And I was like, is there any way we can change it to like a stargazer lily? And then he's like, it's gonna look like a jester hat. And I was like, yeah, okay, do what you do. So he made this beautiful piece. It's still one of my favorites. I love it. It's gorgeous and perfect and beautiful and i love the detail of it i love the fine lines of it i love the placement i love how it complements my leg my ankle i think it's really well done beautiful it was only what a hundred bucks he gave, he gave me super low prices for like all of the, a couple of the tattoos are done by him a couple of mine so i'll say when they're done by him but he gave me incredible prices for the work that he did but yeah this one love it beautiful the next one i'm pretty sure is another one that he did this was a two session i got my ankle my memento more done and then i got my no 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 i'm wrong i lied i had my tombstone before that tombstone i got my tombstone okay so this was a really hard day so this was in december this was a friday the 13th in december 2019 i remember it so vividly one because i basically stayed up for 24 hours that whole day because from the 12th to the 13th i stayed up trying to get a friday the 13th tattoo at this one place didn't get close to the line had to work at seven o'clock left that left the tattoo shop at 5 30 went home slept for an hour went to work at seven o'clock worked from seven to seven and then that was the day that my best friend got engaged so it was so yeah i was the only person there besides like of course her husband and they're married now they're married now and <laughs> i got to record it like he like he asked me for it before he was like hey i'm planning on proposing to katie and and i was like ah. I'm so grateful that I get to be a part of this special moment in you guys' life. And it was magical. It was beautiful. I loved it. And I'm so happy I got to be there. And she's still my best friend to this day. So I did that. And then after I recorded them, I went to a different tattoo shop and got this stuff. And at the time, it was one of the most painful tattoos. And I think it's purely due to the exhaustion that my body was going through. I was like sitting in the chair like, Ugh, like choking and dying. And oh, I didn't say. This tattoo, my friend Katie and my friend Gigi came to. And they both saw me getting that tattoo. And they were like, hmm. 
Hmm, y'all got any walk-ins? And they were like, yes, we do. So they both also got tattoos on that day. And then me and Imani both got tattoos on when I got the skull. So I love going out with my friends and getting tattoos. <laughs> That's one of my favorite pastimes. I love it. So I got that, I got that, I got that. And then now the Memento Mori tattoo. I got from the same guy that did the skull tattoo. And I was just like, he was doing this dagger tattoo on me. So technically I guess I got the dagger first cause I was like, I wanted to get like this huge like sword hilt going from like all the way up to like here to like the outs and then I wanted like the sword blade to go like all the way down to my tailbone so that didn't happen <laughs> my tattoo artist he was like oh yeah I don't think it would look good on your small frame and I'm like but I want it. So now I have a little dagger hilt on the back of my neck. It's not my favorite. I don't like how black it is because I'm already black. So I really like all like open outlines, you know? I like that open look because I feel like you can't really tell what it is, you know? But whatever. So he did that and so it was kind of not what I wanted. And then I was like, hey, can I also get some freestyle, like freehand script Memento Mori on me? And he was like, oh yeah, that's easy. I'll just include it in with the other one. So for both of these, he, he I only played like 150 for it. So I was like, mm, 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 mm. so I got those done together. And these were actually the first tattoos that I showed my boyfriend. He wasn't my boyfriend at the time, but that's the day we started talking on text message was the day I got these tattoos and I showed them to it and he was like those are sick and I was like this is the man for me because <laughs> he's looking at my glue globby nasty <laughs> tattoo and he's like hell yeah that's hot and I'm like hell yeah it is <laughs> hell yeah but I got that one and that one done on the same day. So, memento mori means remember you will die so you know truly blessed you will die we got a concept going <laughs> We gotta keep it balanced. I got that done. And like I said, the dagger, I wanted it to be like a big old sword, but it's now a little bitty dagger. And I live with it every day. But next, I got the rest of my back done. And that's also a thing. So my back tattoo is not my favorite tattoo. Let's just say that. It's not my favorite. My... I'm upset about it. Let's just say that. So I really wanted like something like fine line dainty going down from the moon. Like I wanted like little fairy-esque like little sigils or like something like little magical dusting of like ooh, you know, a little uh, a little e. So I'll see if I can add some pictures of what I wanted right here. So it's like one of those like this is what I wanted. You see like the pastels and stuff. And this is what I got. But it basically that's <laughs> that's what happened. So yeah, he busted out this these big old busters and yeah, I saw the stencil and yeah, I was like, that's a uh, way bigger than what I wanted. And then he was like, Well, you you won't be able to see it any other way. And I'm like, How can you see it on there? And then he's like, You might as well just get your whole spine done, you know, right right here, right now. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, you're right. Let me just go ahead and get my whole spine done. And I I shouldn't have done that. I should have got the little fine lines that I wanted, but my whole back, my whole spine's done. I'm thinking about getting something on the sides or getting something different completely. But for right now, that's what my back looks like. It's on the back. I don't have to think about it a lot. It's back there. It's in my path. We did that. Yes, we did. And that was like $150 for like the bottom. So all together, my back was like $300. So not too bad not too shabby no well like 450 450 yeah that sounds about right so my next tattoo i went to the same tattoo artist wait no no i'm wrong i lied so my next tattoo my next two tattoos i found out about the atlanta tattoo convention this changed everything so i was like what there's a tattoo convention that comes to atlanta every single year i have been going to it for the past two years every time i 
I go, I get two tattoos. I get one small one and I get one big one. So when I went for my first time, I got my voodoo lady on my thigh. I kept walking around and the first one I went to by myself basically. Like Russell went to it, he got his little zenitsu that is on his arm. But he had to leave because he was going on a trip with his brothers. He does a brother's trip. So he was going on a trip with his brothers the next day and he had to work that same day. So we went, he went for like maybe two hours, blasted through that Zenitsu, went to work. I was like, dang dude, bro. But I went and I just walked around, you know, we drove separately. So I just like chilled out, walked around, did my own thing. And I kept walking around and I saw this like three times on this lady tattooers table. And I really wanted to get tattooed by a lady because up to this point, I hadn't been tattooed by any lady. So I was like, I really, that's taking my eye. Like I, I need to get that on me. It's so pretty, I love it. So she blasted that thing on me. We had a great conversation. She was super nice. I think it was 300 for this little guy, which I mean, it has a lot of detail in it, so I understand it being 300 or 350. I don't remember. I always tip, so I don't remember what the actual price of things th things are. It was three to 350, something like that. But I really like this piece. It was my first piece that has color in it. It's, you can't, you can kind of see it, but you kind of can't anymore. It's a, uh, it's what two years old now, I think. I don't know. I don't know. But that's my voodoo lady some people have asked why do i have a voodoo lady on my thigh because black girl magic that's why no more questions thank you the next tattoo i got after that i was like oh that was great i'm pumped i want to get another one i got my peach because that previous election georgia went blue so i was like i want to get the Georgia peach because I am a Georgia peach and I said I was gonna go get a Georgia peach if the election went blue and we did. So I got a little peachy girl. I am from Georgia. I was born at Piedmont Hospital so I'm as from Georgia as you can get, you know? I was born in Atlanta, okay? So that's where the accent comes from. I'm an Atlantean, okay? So I got my peach. So my next tattoo is this guy. I'm gonna say it's this guy, but it, I might be wrong. My next tattoo, I got a space saucer guy, and I got this as a Friday the 13th tattoo as well when I went to Florida because the new Guardians of the Galaxy ride had just opened up like two or three days before and my best friend works at Disney and she invited me to come down and ride with her. So I was like, oh hell yeah, I'm gonna do that. So I went down, saw my best friend who's lovely and got to ride on this brand new Illinois coaster and it just so happened to be Friday the 13th. So I got an alien saucer to slurp up that peach I got cuz I'm a little bit crazy you know I know this you don't have to tell me I'm fine with it I've come to terms with it you need to come with to terms with it okay that's not my problem that's your problem okay I got that done the next tattoo is my now biggest tattoo and it's the whole back of my thigh, my garnet tattoo. So this was the last time that I went to the guy that I told you about before because of how the garnet tattoo situation turned out. Again, it was super inexpensive, which I was like, I think he quoted me 200 and then I already had allotted 300 to it. So I just went ahead and gave, it, gave him the whole 300 and just was like, okay, I'm gonna cut my losses there, you know? <laughs> Cause it's not, it's not what I wanted. I do love it. I love how it looks. I love what is in it. I love the components, but I wish that he would have changed it more because I got this pimp, like image from Pinterest and I was like, oh, I love this, blah, blah, blah. If you could change it, that would be great. I would love something like this in the essence of this. I just really want Garnet. I love Garnet. I love Steven Universe. It's my, one of my favorite TV shows. I've ever watched i love the movie i every time i have like a, a hard passage of my life where like i am just in a deep depression i put on steven universe and i just am like just having a good old time okay which is now one piece for me but if i'm gonna watch a cartoon i'm gonna watch steven universe if i'm gonna watch an anime i'm gonna watch one piece 
I was like, I love Garnet. She speaks to my black girl magic. I really want her on my body. I love that she's a combination of a lesbian relationship. And I'm like, this is for the girls, the gays, and the things. Okay, bam, gay. I was like, this is like the essence of what I want. I don't want exactly this, but I want something like it. And so he's like, okay, cool, 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 cool. I could do that. And then so he draws it up and it's basically the same image. And I'm like, oh yeah, like it looks kind of, it looks like at first I was like, it looks kind of different, like blah, 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 blah. Like, I wonder how he's gonna change it up. And then so he puts it on me. I'm like, yeah. Thing is big and he's like yeah it's big like blah, blah, blah. and i'm like how much money is this gonna be first of all like my brain is like how much is how much is it gonna be he's like yeah i just couldn't make it any smaller because like your thigh is just so small already like this is just as small as it's gonna get and i'm like okay this guy doesn't like to do fine line i'm seeing that now somehow that i didn't see that before but i love garnet and it looked sick on the stencil and i was like you know what blast it on me <laughs> Blast it on me, baby. Blast it on me. I was like, and I was so nervous about the knee jitches. The knee, the, the back of your knee is supposed to be spicy. It's supposed to be spicy. But it actually wasn't as spicy as I thought it was, you know? Actually, like, the upper thigh. Oh. Ay, 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 ay. That part, oof, oof, oof. That was hurtful. And, like, the inner part. Oh, my God. Bro, that, oh, that hurt it. That hurt it a lot. That hurt it. But I still wouldn't say this was my most painful now. It hurt it. I was like, ooh, so we ain't friends no more, huh? You we, we, you hate me now, huh? And he's like, hee hee, you're funny. You're, you can take it. You're silly. And I'm like, I can, but like, I don't want to. I got that done. And then I looked at it more and I was like, this is like basically exactly the same as this picture that I showed him. And I tried to reach out to the artist on Instagram and they still have not contacted me back because I wanted to be like, hey, can I like send you some money because I have your art on my body now. And they haven't contacted me. So hopefully someday they will. I'd be happy to send them some money because they deserve it. It was a beautiful piece and i wanted it so i want to send you money let me give you my money let me give you my money please answer me back please 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 please, please. i did that and the next pieces are from another tattoo convention so this tattoo convention was this year yeah this year so the voodoo lady and the peach are last year's tattoo convention this year tattoo convention i got two pieces i got my sternum piece which this is my most painful tattoo to date most painful definitely i got to say i did not realize how thin the skin was like i knew it was thin because you like go like and that's the bone but I literally felt like I was getting like an injection into my heart. I felt like he was like, oh, that thing hurt it, right? It hurt it like, but Jesus. And then I was at a convention and then all these people was looking at me because my titties was out. And I was like, please stop looking at my titties. And thankfully, Russell was there. So he was like watching people like giving them the death stare like, don't look at my girlfriend titty. But that's why I could hold his hand and be like, I'm gonna die. I had like little tiny like flapping pieces of tape on my schnipples and I felt like that wasn't enough. You know, like all my boobie is down here. So it's like if you got the little bit of, and I got I got like my schnipple like they be so like that be so I'm like you got tape that <laughs> You got tape big enough for me because I, I need a I need a tape like this big. I felt very exposed. Let's just say that. I felt very out there. And I only had to pay 80 for this. He was like, yeah, just 80. Shop, shop my mom. And I was like, cool, blast it on me. And I really like it. It is a little off center to me, but like it's like off center by like one centimeter. So I, like if I don't look at it hard, then I don't have to pay attention to it. But when I first got it, I was like, it's off center and now i'm just like meh whatever it looks nice i like it i like when shirts go down and you could like see it it's like an extra piece of jewelry like bling, 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 bling. yeah it's cute has no meaning it's just decorative i just like the placement that's it and i can't wait to like add to it someday maybe down or up i don't know but it's good to add to it's really simple the last piece is my favorite piece 
It's my most recent piece. And it's Zorro. I love my Zorro tattoo. It is so good. I went to that tattoo convention and I was like, I'm gonna get Zorro. If nothing else, I'm getting a Zorro tattoo. I don't know about you, but I'm getting a Zorro tattoo, okay? That's what's gonna happen. So I was like looking through all the booths, looking, seeing like what kind of anime tattoos people had. And of course, a whole bunch of people had Naruto. Of course, a whole bunch of people had Demon Slayer and nobody had like One Piece. And I was like, okay, like these are cool, but like these aren't what I want. And you know, like, I, like people always are like oh yeah i can like do i could do anime like blah, blah 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 but i'm like but one piece but each anime has a certain style that it's like if i don't see that you have other like one character of each anime that you can do then i'm not gonna trust it i just i'm just very particular and so i went up to this guy and i was looking through his books and i was like oh these are really cool and then i see chopper and i was like he got chopper he got a chopper in here. So I was like, let me keep looking. Let me keep looking. And then he's like, oh, do you like what you see? And I was like, you got Zoro? <laughs> and he's like, yeah, I got Zoro. And then he flips to it. And there's a, a Zoro flash in his book. And I was like, oh my God, I want it so bad. And I was like, how much is it? I need it. And he was like, oh yeah, it's just $800. And I was like, <laughs> $800. Like, oh yeah, it's 800. I was like, did you do anything less than that? And he was like, well, if it's like this, then it's 800. Then if it's like this, then it's like 500. And then if it's like this, then it's like 400. I was like, I don't have that. I don't have none of that. And he was like, well, let me tell me what your budget is, and we, I'll work. I'll try and work with you. See if I can. And I was like, okay, I just want a black and gray Zorro, and my top is three fifty. Like I can't do more than three fifty. And then he's like, oh yeah, like I could totally do that. That's super easy. And I was like, you can? And he was like, yeah. He was like, uh, do you have any time tomorrow? Cause I had a two day pass. And he, I was like, yeah, I have like told, I have all day tomorrow. I don't have anything booked tomorrow. And he was like, oh yeah, I could definitely do it tomorrow just let me draw it overnight and then i'll come in and we'll do it at this at uh, this time and i was like <sighs> so he drew it up and i saw it the next day and i like the whole night i was like freaking out because i was like what if he doesn't do right what if it doesn't look right what if it looks funky what if it blah, blah, blah? and i came in and he showed me this and i was like a plus plus put it on right now so he did that. He just he did just that. And getting like the bottom part of it when he got close to my knee. Let me tell y'all. I was about to punch this man. I was about to punch him. I was like, this hurty. Okay, that hurts. That's painful. I don't like it. And he was like, oh yeah, it always gets a little spicy the closer you get to me. I'm like, I didn't think it was gonna be that spicy. No, that's that's extra spicy. And then like once he did the outline and everything, I was like, okay, good. And then he did like he was like, oh. Technically, it's not gonna be like completely like black and gray. I was like, yeah, cuz I don't want it like colored in I don't want it like, you know, so he was like, okay Like like how your other tattoos are and I was like, yeah I want them to just be like free and open and he was like, okay, cool So he did like the stippling and stuff bro. That hurt it too, bro. <laughs> that hurt it so bad my boyfriend got stippling on his like shoulder right here and he was just sitting like a champ i was like why can't i need to man up like him i need to become a man <laughs> no i just need to man up i need to woman up okay so i got that done i am so happy i have zoro on me i have two of my favorite animated series on my body i plan to get more i got different tattoo plans in the future i'll definitely be at the tattoo convention this upcoming year 2024 so if you go in say hi i'll be there is there anything else oh i forgot one oh child and it's a very important one too oh i'm bad okay so i would you so some of you know i went to new york yeah i was in the macy's thanksgiving day parade i did a broadway intensive camp basically where we had to move to new york and live there and take classes every single night so i did that right and while i was up there it was
was another Friday the 13th. So <laughs> I went and got a tattoo and the year before that my grandfather passed away my other grandfather my dad's dad passed away and so I was like I want to get a tattoo of my grandpa and I was going back and forth and I was like what do, do I want like an outline of him do I want like his name but I'm I don't really do names on my body like even when somebody has passed away I don't ugh. so I was like what do I what am I gonna do what am I gonna do to commemorate my grandpa and when I went to the tattoo shop I was actually gonna get something completely different I was thinking about getting an eye like on the back of my neck which I still might get I don't know but like an eye like a third eye on the back of my neck I was like that would be cool and so I like flipped through the person's books once I got to the tattoo shop and I saw like an eye and I was like oh that looks nice I like that and then I kept on flipping and then I saw this little birdie and I was like that's beautiful and my grandpa used to have a band and his band's name was the hummingbirds so I was like can I get this little bird but can you like extend the beak like it's a little hummingbird and can it be like looking down on me so that's the meaning to my little hummingbird tattoo and I paid a lot of money for it like so like I thought it was gonna be cheaper because like I had a coupon and then like also like I don't think it was Friday the 13th but there, I definitely had a coupon and it was in October and I was like oh yeah like it's gonna be cheaper it was not cheaper. Nope, those New York prices are insane. So I got my little tiny hummingbird and I think it's so cute. I think it's so adorable and it has a really big meaning for me. So yeah, so that's it. <laughs> I'm glad I took a surveil of my body because I definitely forgot that was there. Ha 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 ha. So that's it. I hope you ha enjoyed this video. If you want to know anything else about my tattoos, leave them in the comments below. Also comment below if you have any long-term tattoo ideas or if you don't really have any, tell me which one you liked on me. I don't know. I think they're pretty great. I mean some of them, like most of them, they're pretty great. So thank you for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next video. I hope you have a blessed day. And if you don't want to have a blessed one, have a lit one. I'll see you guys on the flip side. Bye.